Hi there guys. Um, so today what we're going to do is we're going to learn about uh, not the Coles Law, but the Coase Law. Okay, so what we're looking at is we're looking for a similar rule to the sine law, but that actually worth, works with cosine. Okay, so the reason why today is going to be important is um, because you all remember the Pythagorean theorem, okay? But the problem is that, that only works for right angle triangles, okay? Remember, a squared plus b squared c squared, only for right angle triangles. So today, we're going to investigate a better option, okay? So um, it turns out that all we have to do is adjust that theorem, okay? So if you look here, I've got a triangle, but any triangle is actually quite close to a right angle triangle, right? So these two lines make a right angle triangle, but if I move them, it's not a right angle triangle anymore, right? So it's just a little bit of a change, and that little bit of change is what gives us our coast law, okay? So here's our Pythagorean theorem. C squared is A squared plus B squared. Now we just adjust it a little bit. And this gives us a theorem that works for non-right angle triangles. Okay? Now, I just want to highlight something for you because it's really important. Um, I want you to notice that this cosine C, okay, is the same as this side that's isolated over here. Alright? So notice that if C is isolated, then the cosine is of angle C. Okay? Now, that's not to say that we can only work with those we can also isolate A as long as then in the cosine we take the cosine of angle A. We can also isolate B as long as we take the cosine of angle B. Okay, This is one thing that you guys need to really copy down and remember uh, because we're going to use it quite a bit. Okay, So this is the cosine law. Okay, So let's title it. So this is the cosine law. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so now we want to solve for side C. Okay. So here's side C over here. Okay. I want you to notice first of all, could we use the sine law? Okay. Remember, for a sine law, I need a side and the opposite angle. I don't have it here. Side and opposite angle don't have it here. Side, opposite angle don't have it here because I don't have the side. So nowhere do I have that sine over side ratio. Okay. So this means that this is a problem that can't be solved by the sine law. Okay. But we can say, so if we call this A and we call this B, we can say that C squared, so the reason why I'm isolating C is because I'm looking for C, is A squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine of angle c. Okay, So that's our formula right here. Okay, So c squared is a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cos c. All right, now all I have to do is fill in the blanks. So a is 17, b is 32, a is 17, B is 32 and C is 105 degrees. Okay? So that's all I've done. I fill in the blanks. Okay, now notice the only thing I don't know is C. Okay? So now we just have to pull out our trusty, trusty calculator and go step by step. Okay, so 17 squared is 289 plus. 32 squared is 1313. Okay, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to write C squared is 1313 minus, and now I'm going to do 2 times 17 times 32 is equal to 1088. And then I'm going to do times uh, 105 cos equals negative 
5, which means 281.60. Okay? So I'm going to say it's negative 281.60. Okay? I want you to notice that my answer here that I got on my calculator was negative. So I put down this minus sign is right there, right? So here is the minus sign, right? And then this whole thing ended up being negative 281.6. So that means that c squared is actually going to be 1313 plus 281.60. Okay, so minus negative is plus. So that's just happening because our answer here was negative. Okay, so now back to our calculator. I'm going to do 1313 plus um, 281.6, 281.6 is that, okay, so that's C squared, so now to get C, all I have to do is square root it, so the answer is 39.93. Okay, so C is equal to 39.93, where the units in the question, centimeters, so this is centimeters. All right, so remember what we did, right? All we did was we just used our cosine law, right, right here, filled in all the blanks, and then calculated step by step to get our answer. All right, okay, so that's all, and I will see you guys in class tomorrow.